Hi, my name is Roshane Robbins. I'm the natural science teacher at Roper Mountain Science Center, and I'm going to introduce you to a really awesome experiment that you can try at home. Thanks to Greenville County Schools fans, there are science fans, food and nutrition services for providing the materials that we need for this experiment. So this experiment is called Save the Ice, and we are using a milk carton, different materials, styrofoam cup, a clear baggie, this is a foil wrapper and then two different types and colors of paper bags. And our goal is to see how long it will take for our ice to melt. So as you set up your experiment, this is a really good thing to do outside. Um, maybe pick when a, a sunny time to go outside and you're going to have a couple things that you need to do before you go outside. You need to create almost like a shelter, like an igloo, so that we're only testing the differences of the materials. Your control group for this experiment is going to be just plain ice on your surface. And I would recommend doing either your driveway or sidewalk so that you can see where the ice is melting and going to. And even better if it's on a slight incline so you can see when it melts that that water's starting to move. So your first thing you need to do is make a hypothesis. Predict kind of who's going to be your best melters and your worst and try to make go ahead and predict that order and write out your hypothesis. Let's talk about variables next. Our independent variable for this experiment is going to be the different types of materials and our dependent variable is going to be how fast that water is going to melt. Next as you set up your experiment it's really a good idea to have some type of timer or stopwatch. A lot of phones have this feature so once you get it set up Try to get all the ice out at one time, put cover all of them except your control group, and then watch them. And this would be a good chance for you to get your brothers and sisters involved um, as you do this at home. So as you collect your data, write down and record what time it was that you felt like all of it was melted. And that would be your really good data table. And you're going to compare your results. As you look at your results, think about what are these different materials, which ones might be insulators or conductors, and I'd really love for you to analyze your data in a graph. So here I made a example setup for you. Um, you don't have to use graphing paper, you, I just happen to have it at home, but you want to set it up similar to this and leave yourself space for writing the names of those materials here. here. And this will be your time. Whether you do in half minute increments, that's up to you and what your results turn out to be. And I do want to notice that a lot of the materials might get blown over by the wind. So I recommend making little tabs to put rocks down and maybe even making a viewing window for each of these so that you can really observe your eyes. So thank you once again, Greenville County Schools food and nutrition services for offering to give these meals to us during this time and providing these awesome materials for this experiment.